Have you ever wanted to know how to assemble a snooker table? We're going to show you how we did it. And one thing I would recommend is that you wear some old clothes because you will be rolling around on the floor and there will be some dust involved. So the first thing we had to do is create a base for the table. Now this consists of eight legs, four sides and some timbers in the centre to brace it all together. Now these are all connected together for the use of wooden dowels and then for the leg post, we then bolted it all together, making sure the table was secure. We then started to level it because if we had to pack it, this would be the easiest opportunity we would get to lift the table before the slate goes on, because then it would become too heavy to lift. We would also use a laser level because we wanted to make sure that our level lines were spot on. Now the great thing about assembling a table like this was that a lot of this timber was numbered up so we couldn't really make a mistake in putting this back together. So now that the table is all bolted together and levelled, we can now move on to the slate. Now this slate is over two inches thick so what I would do is I'd recommend getting as many people as you can to help you lift them. We laid all five slabs of slate on the table. We then made sure that the center slate was in the correct halfway position. Then with the use of metal dowels that was in the side of the slates, we was able to connect all five slate pieces together. We then gave the slate a quick clean because it got very dusty and dirty during transit. We then made sure that the cushion bolts were still able to screw in because what happened was is a few of the nuts come loose when we were shifting the slate about. And this will be the only chance you're going to get to make sure that the nut and bolts line up before you cover over the access to the nuts. And while one of us uses a filler to fill any potential gaps between the slates, the other's going to install almost like a timber frame on the underside of the slate and that's going to go all the way around, butting up to the edge. And what the idea is for this timber is you're going to use it to tack or staple your cloth to. And this gets fixed using screws that are screwed down from a pre-drilled hole on top of the slate surface. And then while one of us does that, the other person goes around the whole table just to make sure that everything's level and it's spot on. So we're going to finish up screwing up this timber around the edge and then we're going to get ready to prep the surface. Right, so next job will be to put the cloth on now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give the table a light sanding and then we're gonna give it a good clean off. And with the tablecloth, we're gonna roll it out and basically put it in position of where we're gonna want it. All right, so while one of us holds it into position, the other person's gonna go along with a staple gun and staple it to the timber frame that we put on the underside of the table. And then while one side was done, we then moved on to the other side and stretched the material and repeated the process where one of us would hold it down while the other would staple it to the timber. And again, doing the same process at the end of the table, but also making sure that all the bolt holes line up when stretching the material. And then we'll go to the other side of the table and repeat the process again. And after we finish that, we'll walk around the table and make sure that all the loose material, especially around the pockets, have all been stapled. So after we're happy that the tablecloth is secured, we're then gonna give it a really good clean. We're gonna get the hoover on it and eliminate any dust that the cloth has collected.
We're then ready to bolt on the cushion sections. Now you have six cushion sections and it's very important to add that when you bolt your first section on, you must then slot one of the pocket frames into the end. And then just before you go to bolt on your second cushion section, you would slide the other side of that pocket frame into your second cushion section before bolting it up. And then you would repeat that process all around the table. And then you can put on your slide on trim that will hide all of your bolt heads. So with the last few bolts going in, the next thing to do would be to make sure that all the pockets are all bolted up and fixed. We also need to screw back on the hooks for the long rests. We then put on some decorative sections that again hide bolt holes in the legs. And after that, I think it's about time that we rack them up. So we hope that you enjoyed the process of us assembling this majestic snooker table. Hopefully it may assist you in assembling your own snooker table. But if you do want to ask any questions about the build, then please do feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Right, we're off to play some snooker, so I want to thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.